Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going. Back door in one time. Oh, you were, you were, you were. I couldn't do it. Oh. Got it. Come here, man. How did ass look? Trey Ball! Money Graham! Man, what's wrong? I told hey, the green machine legit, bye. What you gonna do, bro? Flotation device, my boy. Stop playing with me. Oh, he can't help. Right! Why the both ran to me? <laughs> I started doing more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more Daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. NBA 2K21, a lot, a lot of stuff to talk about today, man. We got Steve Soda God talking about some things. We got my boy El Cavro Viejo. He talking about some things, asking y'all asking y'all a couple of questions, man. Some people and their next-gen upgrades are in trouble and last but not least we got the 2k special people faking stuff for cow so make sure that you subscribe for more daily 2k content hit the video with a like because the likes are directly tied to the amount of people they get to see the video and how fast they get to see it so if we don't get like eight to ten likes right right off the bat then the people that have been subscribed to me for like 10 years, they don't even get to see the video. It won't push it to them. It just won't push the uh, notification to them. So please go ahead, like the video, and uh, you know, let's get this video to that like goal of 10 likes. Do your part right now, hit the like button. And uh, other than that, let's get right into the news. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now right off the bat, you got my boy El Cavro Viejo, man, a.k.a. Jairus Twin. That's my boy right there. We got to get some runs together now that he's actually, uh, he, he's on the West Coast. And the only reason that we don't really run together is because of the fact that because he's on the West Coast, it makes it difficult. But since I don't have the time shots anymore, maybe we can get that running because, you know, all you got to do is, is line it up and hold it down. P.O.P., hold it down. That's all you got to do, man. I don't, I don't know how this is going to work out. But, hey, check it out. This is what he's asking right here. What's the most OP takeover in NBA 2K21? And uh, come on, man. Everybody's going to say sharpshoot. Uh, that's what I said, at least. I said sharpshooting. Somebody said shot creating because of the fading threes. But with the fade with the shot creating, with with uh, pow, what, with the sharpshooter, you can do anything. You can fade with it. So it's definitely more potent than shot creator. It's definitely better than slashing and finishing because with slashing and finishing, if you don't get a dunk animation, you still have to aim it and, and still have to hit inside. Now, that thing is big as the 2K16 fan, but at the same time, you still have to aim it and do what you got to do. So so that's that. Post scoring, I, I think just not a lot of people are using post scoring. Post scoring is probably the most OP or what have you, but a lot of people just don't use post scoring, so it is what it is. And then you got slashing and, uh, you know, like that that's just the most potent which one do you think do you guys think is the most overpowered takeover in the game i think without a doubt it's spot up just because of the fact that you can once you get your spot up takeover you can shoot from half court literally shoot from half court and 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 pull up behind people you can phase you can run sprint fade to the corner you can do everything it's better than shot creating just because of the fact that it is shot creating on steroids post scoring shoot you can probably shoot post score and you can probably finish with it too it probably all of them in one if you got the right amount of stats and stuff like that i don't know man it is what it, it is what it is but y'all let me know which one y'all think is the most overpowered I, I certainly think that that's the most overpowered takeover uh in the whole thing now for what we all came here for some people are some people are i mean it's it's gonna suck for some people now but some people's next gen orders so we got good news and bad news right behind it some people's next gen orders man they might be in some trouble and uh next gen might not be a thing for them in this current iteration just because we got this joint here that says amazon started emailing customers to say they may not get their ps5 on lunch day and uh, pretty much what it goes through and says is that Amazon is telling people that that they took too many pre-orders, more or less. So they're emailing people and saying, you, you still going to get it or you still might get it. Um, I don't know if they're either, they either going to cancel the pre-order or you're just not going to get it on time. But here we go with Jeff. Uh, what's his name? Jeff. I, I, I don't even know what his name is. Amazon has informed 
has informed me that I may not receive my PlayStation 5 uh, pre-order on release day due to high demand. Like I said, they just took, it feels like they just took too many, uh, they took too many pre-orders. And we said, to let you know in advance, you may not receive this item on the day, on the date of this release uh, due to high demand. We will make every effort to, to get the item to you as soon as possible. So they haven't, because I mean, you can track your shipment, blah, blah, blah. So what it's looking like is, you're still going to get it, but you just may not get it on release day. So if they, if we, if they, they saying pretty much we got it for you, we took your money, we did all of that, you're going to get yourself a PS5. You just may not get it on on launch day. So if you have ordered from Amazon, make sure you check your email and you check all of this stuff, man, to see if they're going to allow you. I mean, if you're going to get it on in a timely fashion, because you're still going to get it. You're just not going to get it on uh, on launch day, depending on you know depending on what you got going on or, or what they say or how many orders they taking or you know they might get some pre-orders and stuff like this like GameStop they said that uh GameStop is is they're going back on day GameStop will have more PS5 consoles available uh for pre-order tomorrow and uh you know it just says right here we're pleased to announce uh, announce that further quantities of the PS5 console will be made available to pre-order at uh you know blah 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 you know at your GameStop store at, at 925 on Friday and they always do this man it's always one of those things where where we have they have the systems they do an exclusive drop it's just like sneakers almost they do the exclusive drop and then a little while later they come back and say dang we didn't know we we're gonna have that many pre-orders so we'll make some more available make some more available obviously we know the store is going to backfill some of those other pre-orders and then they're gonna take some other ones uh you know like that so so that's gonna be how it goes but just make sure like you know check your email what i would probably do if amazon told me i might not get it on release day and they haven't actually charged me i would probably try to secure one from somewhere else and then cancel my amazon pre-order um that's what i would probably do because like what ain't, ain't part of the fun of of getting the pre-order is the exclusivity like bro i need this joint and i need it on the day that it comes out you know what i'm saying so I, I don't i don't think a lot of people are going to to not want to get it get it on um get it on release day and then uh last but not least we got my boy steve so and like i said man everything always comes everything in this world is secular it, it comes all the way back man steezo says if you fade every shot you're trash didn't i say this the other day like like i'm not saying that he's one of the guys that said it but it's just funny how we look at this thing and like people were saying the other day, hey, you know, it's not that bad. You know, if you can't defend it, then you're trash, blah, 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 yakety smackety, and then this, this, and this. And didn't I say at that point in time, I was like, you know what? People should be careful how they word this because if you word it a particular way, then it can come back to bite you. And then now he's saying, if you fade every, every, everything, you're trash. Now he was not one of the people that was just denouncing people that were saying stuff about the curvy slide. Let's get that right right now. He, he had a much more level-headed approach. He said, instead of killing the curvy slide, let's patch fades, let's patch screens, and let's patch the things that are around it that make that curvy slide so stupid. But if you were in the wreck this weekend, I mean, you know, this week, you see how they curse, man, come on, man. It, it, it is crazy. If they take away the screening part of it, then you'll be good. But like I said, it just goes to show like I, exactly what I said. Like, this is probably why he didn't say it the way that he said it, because, hey, you it, it can always come back, and somebody can say that you're trash for not doing something. Like I said, he's not one of the people that was saying that you're garbage if you can't defend it, blah, 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 like that. He was just saying that there are other things that surround it. But I'm just letting y'all know, like, everybody shares this opinion. And if you fade every play, and if you exploit the game every play because you know it's an undefen uh, indefensible bucket, that's that's crazy, man. And uh, you know, last but not least, you got NBA 2K, NBA 2K Intel saying dudes, dudes faking tweets for TikTok, bro. People do anything to do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. He said these dudes faking, and look, look at this, man. Look what we got, bro. They are faking NBA 2K 21 leaks. Like what? In patch, and it just says in patch three, the curry slide will no longer be in the game. The dribble move will be replaced. The dribble move will be replaced uh, with with a slower and less effective thing. And not only is that, but look, look at this. Like this, this is what they did. And they, they, they got hashtag Mike Wong and down man. Hey man, well people people don't care, boy. So they, then he put the accounts up there, obviously, uh, the offending accounts that did it. But you know, like I said, man, people gonna do anything, man. They will do 
anything at all in order to uh to get some fame fortune whatever just some clicks and likes but uh anyway man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section did you secure your ps4 or 5 did you get it from amazon uh what's the most uh overpowered takeover and is steezo right or if you fade every play are you trash let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ god speak Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good